Here I am in summer mode, cutting hair on the road today. <laughs> With a look that you're not usually accustomed to seeing. I cut the hair of celebrities, broadcasters, actors, and models. And sometimes those celebrities are famous people within their industry that people might not know anywhere else. But in the knife and EDC industry, the knife making, which is different than sword making, which is different than guns, which they all kind of come together. In the knife making world, there's a knife that everybody loves made by John Gray. John Gray is a celebrity in the knife world. I worked with him today and I did an interview and I want you to get to know John Gray because I would love to have you have a John Gray knife in your pocket if you're a knife fan. If you're not a knife fan, then it probably won't appeal to you. But the form and function of a John Gray knife, he is the Mick Jagger a rock star in the knife making world. I spent some time with him today. You're gonna like him. Here's John Gray. Started as a hobby, just making knives for myself for fun while working, and then it uh, just progressed into me making some better stuff to a point where I thought I could sell them. And then I wasn't a hundred percent happy with work and decided just to go for it, start making knives and gadgets to sell to the public and for myself, you know, things that I liked. Oh, and there's so many different knife makers out there I like. Um, years ago, guys, that I mean, one of the first knife makers that I bought custom knives from was Alan Elishowitz, probably one of the best knife makers out there. And then there's other guys that I know that I've learned from since, like Matt Diskin, RJ Martin, and I'm sure I'm forgetting a few hundred of them, but there's so many knives out there that I've seen that I like over the years that uh, they just gave me some influence. It has to work, it has to perform, it has to cut, you know. Uh, that's important, you know, you want to be able to hold on to it and not lose it real easy. Uh, you need to be able to control your cut. They have to look good or at least look like they belong in a certain area. Like if it's a tactical knife, it needs to be dark and non-reflective. Or if it's a gentleman knife, it could be like fancy and sparkly and pretty, but still cool. I like titanium a lot as far as handle materials go for folders. I just like it a lot. I like being able to do different things to it, whether it's milling it or grinding it, contouring it, giving it a uh, an orange peel finish or a uh, barked finish. It's just titanium is fun. You can anodize it. You can make it look all different colors. There's also uh, Moku Tai, which is uh, different multiple layers of titanium that I like and you get these really cool patterns in it. It's made by Chad Nichols Damascus. That's some pretty cool stuff. Generally stainless steels, like some of the better quality stainless steels for the edges, you know, for the blade. Also, I get guys that, that have also bought them for, you know, just to stick on a shelf and admire. And I have guys that have bought them to carry every day and they rely on those knives to potentially save their own life if they need it. So it runs again. I don't make just one type of knife. I mean, one of my logos is, uh, you know, practical tactical knives, overbuilt practical tactical knives, you know, but also I like some attractive stuff too. Some more, what you say, pretty or gentle, like between a gentleman knife and a tactical knife. I'm just not stuck in one groove. Sometimes you just, if you have an artistic side, you go with it. You know, you try something a little different. And then there's other times it's really straightforward and mean looking. You know, I mean, you could you could go look at pictures I've posted on Instagram under John Gray Knives and see the, the different ones that I've done. 
or Google John Gray knives. You'll see dealers that have them, or you can check out certain knife dealers like Blade HQ, Arizona Custom Knives, Blade Junkies, another one that sell my knives. And I'm sure there's a few other ones. I'm just uh, Empire Outfitters. There's just a few guys that have my knives. And if you want to look at them, you can look at their look at what they have in inventory. And they have other great knives too. So, and I'm a knife collector myself. So I buy and own them. And sometimes I'll get a little tired of it and I'll flip it for something else. But there's so many cool knives out there. And there's a lot of guys out there just really killing it these days, making some great looking knives. Now you're preparing for the world's biggest knife show. It's in Atlanta. What's it called? It's called Blade, and that'll be the first weekend in June. And I should be there two weeks from today. Probably exhausted because I'm burning the candle at both ends, getting stuff finished up for the show. So there's going to be some great sales there, some great networking because all the masters will be there, right? Yeah, I mean, there's anybody who's somebody's going to be there. Generally speaking, you're going to find. You're going to find knives as cheap as $5 and as expensive as, <sighs> there might be a million dollar knife there. There's knives there. I've seen knives that are worth a million dollars. I've seen, it's not uncommon to find knives, $50,000, $120,000. Now some of these knives are heavily, they're pieces of art. They're jewelry. They're, they're, some are made out of solid gold. Um, they're they're loaded with gems. And they're finely engraved. I mean, they're gorgeous. When you look at them, it's just like a portrait. They're incredible to look at, let alone handle. You may not want to use it as a knife, but they just look great. You uh, just uh, Google John Gray knives or go on Instagram under John Gray knives. Uh, you can always drop give me a phone phone call. I mean, that's always easier. I'm not the best texter in the world, or uh, I don't always reply to emails right away. So if you want to talk to me, give me a call. My phone number's there. My name is John Gray, and I make knives.